for society at large. Here's like a great example of it. Back to the frontal cortex. Its evolution is really interesting. It's the most recently evolved part of the primate brain. We've got more of it or more complicated wiring than any other primate. It's like totally amazing. Yeah, there's been this evolution of an increased capacity for self-regulation and impulse control and making the right decisions, all of that. Evolution has given us an additional interesting thing with the frontal cortex. Most of your brain is wired up and going about its business by the time you're three years old, five years old. Some new stuff comes online when puberty upends everything. But your frontal cortex is not fully mature until you're about 25 years old. It's the last part of the brain to mature. What have we just explained? We've explained why adolescents act in adolescent ways and why like 15 year olds are not putting away their allowance for their retirement funds. But then you ask sort of a mechanistic question. Why does it take 25 years for this part of the cortex to get wired up? Whereas say this part of this part is in the first few years of life. Is it because it's a more complicated building project? Are there neurotransmitters that are only found in the frontal? Nah, it's the same exact constituent parts. It's not a more complicated building project. What it is, is we have evolved to have delayed maturation of the frontal cortex. Why is that? Because if the frontal cortex's job is going to be to make you to do the harder thing when it's the right thing to do, it's really challenging learning what counts as the right thing. You got to learn your society's hypocrisies. You've got to learn your society's rationales and lies and thou shall not kill. But if you kill one of them, we're going to give you a medal and vote for you and maybe like preferentially mate with you. If you like, it takes a long time to learn this stuff. And we have a longer delayed frontal cortical maturation than any other primate and it's minuscule and rodent. And this is a recent evolutionary invention. Let's frame it this way. Your frontal cortex has evolved. The genes that specify your frontal cortex have evolved to make you as free from genes as possible. Your frontal cortex is the part of your brain that is the freest from genetic influences because it's still being sculpted by environment and experience a quarter century after you plopped out there, whereas most of the rest of your brain is sculpted by two or three years worth of experience. Whoa, we evolved, our genes evolved to free our frontal cortex from strict genetic determinism and to make it much more sculpted by environmental determinism. Totally cool because one culture has a completely different set of moral compass rules than another culture and they're hard to learn and they can't be coded for genetically. You got to spend a whole lot of time learning what counts as the right thing among the people with whom you're dwelling. That's absolutely fascinating. I mean, one of my